and welcome to Three Minute Maths. In this particular video we're going to be looking at the total surface area of a cone and a hemisphere. So it's rather like a, an ice cream cornet that's been put upside down. Unfortunately I haven't got anything that I could show you but if you can imagine an ice cream cornet made up of a cone at the top here and then a ball at the bottom here or at least half a ball. Okay so with these types of questions you're going to be a little bit careful because what you're looking to do is to find firstly the surface area of the cone itself. Well the area of a cone or surface area of a cone is going to be pi r l. Okay but it is important to appreciate that this l is not the overall height it's actually the slant height, so it's this one along here. So you have to do a little bit of Pythagoras first to be able to work this out. Because if you can imagine here, I can create uh, a right angle triangle. Okay, now that right angle triangle at the bottom has got a base of six centimeters, which is actually the radius of the hemisphere at the bottom here, so that's going to be 6. The height is 8, but what we're interested in is this here. So this dimension is going to be the bit that we're going to put into here. Well, quite handily with this particular uh, type of question is that um, if we look at L squared equals 8 squared plus 6 squared, well, 64 plus 36 is 100, so actually L squared equals 100. So they've been very kind to us on this particular question, that if we know that L squared equals 100, then L equals 10. So actually, you don't really need to reach for a calculator on that type of one. So it's worthwhile just checking it first and seeing if you can work it out for yourself. So they have been quite good with this. So the area of the cone is going to be pi, and that's going to be multiplied by the radius of 6 and the slant height, which is 10. Now what I'm going to do is, just for the purposes of this, I'm not going to calculate this. I'm just going to leave this as 60 pi, which I know is the area of the cone. It just is a little bit neater, a little bit easier to do, rather than writing out lots of numbers when you multiply through by pi. Okay, so the next one is we're going to have a look at the surface area of the hemisphere at the bottom. Now the formula that we want is area of a sphere, okay, is 4 pi r squared. Okay, so again we need to put that information into this and we're going to have 4 times pi now the radius we know is 6 again, so it's going to be 6 squared, which is 36. So what that will give us is, again, I'm not going to bother calculating it out, it'll give us 144 pi. But you need to remember this is a hemisphere, it's half of this. So in actual fact, the 144 would be if it was a complete ball. It's not, it's half a ball. So I need to re reduce that or divide that through by 2. So therefore the hemisphere we're interested in is 72 pi and that's the hemisphere. Okay, and then really it's just a case of adding those two together and that will give us then the total area which is going to be 60 plus 72 Oh, sorry, beg your pardon, 60 plus 72 pi, 60 pi plus 72 pi, and that's going to give us 132 pi centimetres squared. Now that's actually the overall surface area. However, the question might ask you to calculate that, and it might ask you to give you this information, say to, in this particular case, three significant figures. So if I pop that into a calculator, it's going to give me... 414, I'm just going to have to check my notes, 0.69 centimetres squared. And if I want to write that to three significant figures, that's my third. I'm going to change that because of the six. So to three sig fig, it's going to be 415 centimetres squared. And that's three 
significant figures. Okay, and that's the actual overall answer to this particular question. So the key take-homes from this is you need to remember that they usually will give you an overall height, not a slant height, but they are quite kind and sometimes it's fairly straightforward to work out. When you've got the information, treat the two as separate um, calculations and if I was you I wouldn't worry too much about working out pi each time because it's a constant you don't need to worry about it too much unless it asks you to actually calculate right at the very end. I hope that's been okay please do add a comment subscribe to the site I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank <music> you.